Welcome back. Invasive species keep turning up like a bad penny. This morning we take a look at a non native plant that is having a wide impact. Terry Belke explains as we head to the outdoors. Pale and black swallowwort were originally brought to the United States from Europe in the late 1800s as an ornamental garden flower. Benign for years, the invasive plant eventually got into the wild and is doing damage to native habitat throughout the Northeast. It's not uncommon for some of these ornamental plants that have been around for hundreds of years uh, to really just in the last few decades uh, be able to get their foothold. And once they're established, um, they're just able to spread so much more readily. Invasive species are a lesson on the balance of nature. Once removed from their native habitat, invasives lose their natural predators and are able to spread unabated. The plant impacts biodiversity, uh, both plants and animals. It uh, inhibits forest regeneration. Uh, it provides very poor forage for wildlife and uh, they are particularly harmful in, in areas with ground nesting birds. Monarch butterflies already on the endangered species list are directly impacted by these plants. And the problem with the black and pale swallowwort is it has many, many seeds in these pods. And the other problem is <clears throat> it's in the milkweed family, so it, it does uh, trick monarchs basically into laying eggs on this plant and then the caterpillar will die because it's toxic for them. The iconic but struggling butterflies are exclusively dependent on milkweed in their caterpillar stage. Well, between 10 and 25 percent of monarchs around the country will mistakenly put an egg on this black swallowwort and then that's just another problem for the monarch butterfly. Swallowwort can also make the surrounding soil toxic to native plants, inhibiting their growth and are very difficult to remove. There is hope that a non-native moth, Hypena opulenta, may help inhibit the plant. But in the meantime, the community can help in curbing the spread of this aggressive invader. As people are aware of the species, they can see it and they can just dig up a single plant, uh, which keeps it from becoming a much larger problem. Stop buying things from nurseries in other countries that don't belong here because this is a perfect example of how things escape and destroy our environment. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.